It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. This is Kyle Hyman, and joining us to talk about those Catholic men, Exodus 90, and give me some advice on what I can expect to happen in January. Big uh, big news here. Nathaniel Benversi and James Baxter, thanks for being here, guys. Hey, Kyle. Awesome to, to share this time with you and all, all the listeners. How about an update on what's happening with those Catholic men? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we moved to town a couple years ago now, and we've been excited uh, by the growth of Exodus, not just here locally, but around the country as well. You know, I'm sure on this show you've spoken a, a bit about some of the crises the church is facing today. Mm-hmm. And I know all of us were probably a little bit shaken up and, and disturbed at different times. Uh, one of the things I didn't expect was how Exodus would be looked at as a roadmap forward, a concrete roadmap forward uh, for the men, you know, uh, to kind of channel some of the frustration, agitation, desire for change, reform, etc. And of course, there's been all of these calls for prayer and penance around the country. Mm-hmm. But how do we do that? How do yeah. we get started? You know, and that's obviously what Exodus 90 is all about. So. You know, we've experienced a lot of interest, parishes all over the country, all over the world, reaching out about how they might implement this at their parish and form small groups of men on the road to to freedom. Yeah. So uh, it's been a really exciting time for our small team, our, our local team. We're super excited about the upcoming January. So 90 days to Easter is January 21st. Uh-huh. So that's uh, easily our, our most focused, dedicated time. Most people are winding down for the holidays, and we kind of up at a level around here, and then we'll 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 take a breath once Exodus starts. Yeah, uh, in late January and February. So I've talked with you, James, about this, and we've shared on the show and the idea behind Exodus ninety and what you can do. And then I talked with Father Thomas Zare for Flavor of the Week, and he was doing Exodus ninety. Well, still is at the time of that episode, and he shared a little bit of his journey. And then my birthday rolls around, and my wife tells me for my birthday, she has contacted several different friends and relatives and has me doing the Exodus 90 program. I was like, what? (laughs) So for my birthday, I get to take cold showers and make all of these sacrifices and stuff (laughs) like that. that. that sounds like a like a punishment, not yeah. a birthday present. But in reality, she's like, I thought this was something that you wanted to do. But to tell the truth, it's not something that I wanted to do. It's something that sounds extremely attractive to me, but kind of impractical. Part, mm-hmm. Partially with, with family life and with work life, getting up early and you're supposed to be getting sleep and exercise and prayer time. And I was like, I don't know how I can... I feel like I have to choose between exercise, sleep, and prayer. Like, pick one. I can't do all three. Mm -hmm. So, I think this is really going to help me to focus and make those things a priority. Like, I I can't make those just pick one. Like, that's not fair and it's not right. So, I am excited about this. We've got a really interesting group of people that are doing it. We've got my brother-in-law, my brother, a friend of his, a seminarian, and then uh, we've got a, a priest that's going to help us out as chaplain. I'm not sure if he's going to be going through the program or not, but uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. We kind of all come from different places and different places in our faith, and then we're in different locations in the world. So I kind of wanted to see if you could just break down to me what I can expect mm-hmm. and uh, what are some things that I should do to prepare before yeah. this January 21st launch. So we can talk preparation. I want to let Nathaniel speak to some of the time involved uh, with all of this, uh, with Exodus 90, this thought, do I have enough time, yeah. you know, for these disciplines? That's something we hear a lot. I think it's a beautiful thing yeah. that your wife got you Exodus I do 90. Too. I do too. When I saw the message, I, I laughed out loud. <laughs> I was like, wow, you know, that's a woman who believes in her husband and believes there's more in him that she can, you know, she can see. So uh, that's, uh, that's frankly hilarious. So uh, anyway. <laughs> The gift that you just received, of course, is a roadmap to freedom. So it's the freedom that your wife desires for you and the freedom that even attracts you at all to the program. Hmm. When it comes to freedom itself, we can't achieve this on our own, right? We need the Lord to actually lead us to freedom. It is God alone who grants us that deliverance. And we have found as men that the more we try to control our own lives, the more enslaved we end up getting. We make the decisions that we think would help us and get us into that comfortable free state 
but comfort isn't actually the road to freedom, as, as you know well, Kyle. So when looking at what is difficult about Exodus 90, especially when it comes to planning your day or trying to do all of these things, there is an abandonment of control that is necessary. Huh. And when we abandon that control of the Lord and allow Him to plan our day, and which He does by handing us this roadmap, handing us, yes, Exodus, but all of the regimen of Exodus is based straight out of Scripture with prayer, asceticism, and fraternity. So by listening to His plan for us through the Scriptures, through following the Israelites, through turning over our day to Him, prioritizing what He desires our priorities to be instead of our own for our own comfort, it is in doing that that freedom can come, yes, but especially that we find time that we never thought we had, mm. right? You're giving up Netflix. You're giving up watching the Colts play on Sunday afternoon. There is either two more hours in your day or for some people, 12 more hours in their week, <laughs> yeah. you know? So the, with the little things that you're able to give up through the asceticisms, you're able to make back that time and put it to good use in prayer and in time with your family. So your wife gave herself a birthday present on your birthday. Right. That, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, which is a beautiful thing and a beautiful thing for you as well because you want to spend more time with your family, I presume. Is that right? Yeah, sure. And certainly this will allow you to see where your time is wasted and to see where you can invest your time well. So even if you're taking some time away from your family, say to get in a holy hour each day or, or time in prayer each day, that time is that intimacy with our Lord that then rejuvenates you and gives you the life and the eyes and the ears to see and to hear the actual needs of your family, especially your, your children and, and your wife. We're talking with James and Nathaniel from Those Catholic Men. Check them out, exodus90.com. And one of the things that, for those that are listening that are like me, saying, hey, that's great. That's so great that other people are doing that. And it either saying, you know, maybe I'll do that someday, or that's not for me. Maybe they're challenged right now to say, okay, well, maybe I could do this starting in January 21st. So what are some of the things that we should do leading up to January 21st? Like, I, I know you've got some books. There's a program. Uh, do we sign up for something online? What, what is the process for a group? Do all of us that are participating do it? Or uh, just fill me in. Like, teach me how for that sure. works. Yeah, so, I mean, the most important thing uh, by way of preparation is, is actually a spiritual dimension. You know, this is a, a spiritual exercise, and it's not something that you should do lightly. You know, you should really pray about it to us. Some people say Exodus is for everyone. Other people say Exodus is not for everyone. Hmm. Uh, my kind of take on all that is, you know, is the Lord calling you into this at this time? Yeah. You know, and, and obviously that invitation frequently comes through people, through people that we love. So maybe in your case, your wife. But it's a spiritual exercise, you know, so, so it's really very simple. You know, is Christ calling you to this time of, of radical purification, hmm. to the thought, am I doing this alone or is this just for my small group? And the answer to that is no. We never really quite know how many men will be doing Exodus mm -hmm. until, you know, the couple days preceding it. But it's going to be a big year. It's going to be a lot bigger than the past. Hmm. Uh, working with partners like Matt Fradd and Jason Everett, Catholic Gentleman, Sam Guzman Online, you know, we're signing partners kind of left and right right now because they're all realizing that the times that we're in call for a period of purification, and that's what Exodus 90 proposes. Yeah. So uh, I'll be excited to maybe come back and say, hey, this is how many men around the, yeah. the world are doing Exodus with you. But the preparation that needs to happen is on the spiritual level first. We're really excited that at the end of this month, we're actually launching a mobile application for Exodus 90. Oh, okay. So the whole delivery model for it is different. So my encouragement to you is maybe maybe press pause, you know, for the next couple of weeks when we launch okay. about Christmas time. But honestly, from there, yeah, there'll be a, an opportunity for you to get whatever merchandise, whatever books, you know, whatever journals, whatever you want to make your journey okay. with. Um, but it's it's really plug and play. You mm -hmm. literally you'll download the application, invite your friends, and you'll all have a a community a communication tool with you that guides you through the steps of Exodus ninety. Practically. Uh, it's really important that you guys are on the same page preceding the start date. So it doesn't need to be a lot of meetings. It doesn't need to be, you know, a ton of time, but maybe getting together, having your last last beer or something like that, uh -huh. you know, before the journey to just make sure that everybody knows what Exodus entails, because the fraternity is the most important part of this. A soldier alone is not a soldier, and it's the same thing in the spiritual life. Uh, when we don't have the accountability of, of a brotherhood, um, when we don't have an anchor, 
to keep us rooted, then then we get lost. Yeah. So it's so important that each man of the of the fraternity are on the same page, know what this entails, and uh, not necessarily saying they won't fall. We all fall. We all fail. But at least is willing to get back up uh, when that happens. That's important. Yeah. So. Just a, a brief recap for those that may have missed this in the past. What are some of the things that you ask people to do for Exodus 90 as, as some of those sacrifices and aestheticism? Certainly. So prayer, asceticism, and fraternity, those are the three primary things done over the 90 days. And breaking those down, prayer includes trying to make a holy hour every day. If you can't do a holy hour every day, at the minimum, 20 minutes of silent prayer. That's prayer that isn't active prayer like praying the rosary, if you will. Not that that is a bad thing by any stretch. It's an excellent thing. But that silent prayer gives you time to both speak to the Lord and do what many of us fail to remember to do. That's giving the Lord time to speak to us because he's the one who's going to lead us on this journey. So that, along with the 90 days of reflections that are provided as you follow the Israelites through the book of Exodus over those 90 days and reflect on that through your journey. Then into the asceticisms, it's things like, yeah, taking a cold shower every day. That's extremely difficult and extremely purifying, no yeah. doubt about it. Uh, as well as giving up sweets, snacking, giving up alcohol for 90 days, doing a rigorous exercise at least three days a week uh, throughout the 90 days as well. And then fraternity, having a fraternity meeting every week with your fraternity members, and then pairing up with an anchor brother. This guy who's going to be your anchor in case you fall, he's going to be there for you. You're going to check in with him every day. That way you can assure that he's also on this path as well. Fraternity is an absolute necessity for Exodus 90. It's not something you can do alone. So those are just a handful of things. The rest you can certainly find on Exodus90.com as yeah. well. So I'm excited to hear about this app. How is that going to help with the program? Yeah, uh, hugely. So the biggest thing is guys were so appreciative of the fact that they ha had a fraternity. They had a small group of men for the first time. You know, for many of them, Exodus kind of reminded them of the past being in some kind of sporting team or college where they were kind of more connected. Hmm. Exodus is a great reason to really come together as a group of men, like-minded men who who have the same desires for holiness, but but also, you know, the, the demands of daily life, the demands of work and family have kind of left them maybe a little bit isolated, a little bit alone. And so Exodus is a great way to bring them back. So we wanted to build a tool that modeled that from the delivery side, from the technology side. So uh, the, the way that I would, you know, frankly say that it works is it's, it is absolutely there for to deliver all your program material, all of your content, but it's also there for you to be able to check in with your anchor, partner, your, your brother, and then also your whole group fraternity. So mm -hmm. it makes it particularly easy to build a fraternity for the first time because many men say, gosh, you know, this is awesome. I want to do this, but no one's crazy enough to, to take me up on it. Yeah. And so we've made it super easy for men to invite friends, you know, from their own uh, mobile address books and, and kind of invite them into their app experience. Okay. It's basically a community tool for Exodus Brotherhoods. When I've shown uh, the designs, uh, the mock-ups to other people, they're like, wow, you just built a tool for small groups. And that's oh, exactly yeah. what we've done. Yeah. All right, well, of course, check out Exodus90.com. And again, the start date is January 21st. Get your guy friends together. And uh, we'll see how this journey goes. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Hey, thanks, it. Kyle. Thank you. Thank you.